Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you. Well, this video is going to be a little bit different, at least starting out, that's for sure. Um, my battery, after about 15 years of running my lift portion of my tank operation up and down, has finally given it up to the goat. I've got, I think it's a 40 watt solar panel that keeps it charged, but she just got to where she didn't have no juice no more. So, I'm charging up another one and need to replace that. So, I'm going to be doing that. Um, I've got my tank pulled out and I'm hooking back up my exhaust fan for it. I had lost the cord to it. I knew I had it around here somewhere and I finally found it out in Mechanic. So, I'm going to hook that back up. Um, I normally just open the door, but I'm going to go ahead and hook this thing back up since I'm doing all this other stuff. So, and the rubber on my, uh, the anti-splash shield or whatever you want to call it, rubber on my tank was just falling apart. So, I'll show you, I'll show you. So I put new rubber in there. Get you down here. You can see that. I put new rubber in here, vinyl, whatever that stuff is, but I put that and then I went ahead and cut a hose in here. I used to just clamp my uh, exhaust tube thingy, but like I said, since I've got this out and doing it, I'm going to try and do a better job with it. Um, if you look way back in there. You can see my exhaust fan. It's just one of those little bouncy house fans. I know a couple of the other outboard guys are using those. I've had this one now for about three years. And it just sits in there on that shelf. And then I used to take the hose. I had a plastic hose, uh, a white dryer plastic hosey. And I would just hang it over in the corner of the tank. It worked all right. But I'm thinking since I'm doing all this, um, you can another reason why I didn't care for it too much it's loud but I got my tank all pulled out I sorry got my tank all pulled out and drained and cleaned and just trying to go over some things and make things a little better in here and so got her all back in place everything all cleaned up Nice fresh water going in. I'll add some salt away to that. And uh, should be good to go. I just had to take a break and take care of it. It was getting too dirty and stuff. Part of the deal, you know, the deal.
Yamaha Enduro. Yamaha Enduro. Yeah. On this one, and this is the one that was made for the American market, it just it has a picture of a boat and an arrow pointing go that way, and then a little boat with the stern and an arrow pointing that way. And on that one, it has Ari Ari Neutral Ford Avant Avante. Didn't Studebaker used to make a car called the Avante? I don't know. I thought they did. Anyway, it's a nice day. It's a nice day. High about 45. I'm going to start on that. Uh, and that. Uh, those will be my next one. See what all I'm going to have to take apart to get that thr uh, tiller throttle handle fixed on that one. On that Enduro. On that enduro hey you want to take a tour of my bone piles and all and my rack let's go take a tour because it's a nice day i gotta put some air in my specialty manufacturing company or corporation in my lift and then i'm gonna paint it grease it but first we got to get right here. Put the cover back on this nice winterized Enduro. Get him on straight legged. Is that better? That's better. It's better. What else we got on the rack? Of course, you've seen them before. There's my little. 56 Johnson seven and one half a 63 18 fast wind 140 horsepower Archimedes Pinto see it says right there 140 It's a hundred hundred and forty horses in that little bitty hood boy I bet it screams yeah, and it does run. I got a video of me of taking that thing down to bare knuckles. And then I got my 62, I think it is, fast twin. Okay. There's a Suzuki that I fixed. For the guy, he ain't picked it up. There's a 9.9 .9 Yamaha, four-stroke electric start only that I own. 30. A 9.9 .9 Johnson four-stroke damn near as big as a 50 horse there's the 55 commercial that I fixed he has not picked it up the 40 horse I still got a fix that Yamaha 9.9 .9 four stroker I own it the 15 horsepower is the one I just went through two videos ago with the busted up lower unit and then I got uh, 20 Mariner 15 Honda 35 jet 50 classic Mercury jet. Okay, what we got going on over here? What we got? We got. This is my Yamaha pile. Well, there's one little 15 horse. Evan Rude, Johnny Rude, something hiding in there. These big old 75 Enduros. Three cylinders, pull start only. Uh uh. Those will be sold or parted out because they'll be sold as is or parted out because I don't pull on that kind of stuff. I got a 40 and a 40. The 140 there is ruined. The 25 Yamaha is a three cylinder triplet. It will run, but it has been submerged, so I won't sell it to anybody other than for parts. And over there, I got another Enduro. Over there, I got my classic 50 on my utility skiff, my big welded aluminum utility skiff. Oh. On my Bay Runner skiff here, I got 
Masazuki. I should have went for a boat ride today. It's that nice out. And it's been nasty. Hey, I think I spotted some more upwards. This is Bone Pile Small. Some 15s, an 18, more 15s, a wizard, another little yammy that I don't have a foot lower the unit for. Got a 9.5. Got some Suzuki. Look, they go way back under there. You can't see it's kind of dark over there, but behind all them bonnets right there, I got a whole bunch more 9.9.15s. Evan Rude Johnson and another little Yamaha. If you look right in here, that's my bonnet stash. It's where I keep all my hoods. Well, not all of them, but the majority of them. They go way down. All the way down. There's a bunch of them in there. Oh, that's where I keep them hid. Got parse monkey come around here and steal them. That's bone pile small. Everybody knows who he is. That's Fret. The one-eyed miserable porch monkey weather frog. See, he only got one eye. Fret's always miserable. He ain't got no snow on his head. And he still got a little grin, smart aleck, Fred, the one-eyed miserable porch weather frog. Poor Fred. Want to go see Bone Pile Big? I've got to go out to the uh, junkyard. I saw somebody threw a power head off of one of these out there. I need the starter bolts and all. I have actually started that thing, but it needs a lot of work. It's one of the earlier generation four strokes. It's got four individual carburetors. And somebody snapped off the thermostat cover, so I'll have to do the drilling, and I don't know if I'll ever get to it or not. But, okay. I got a 15 Yamaha and a 15 Evan Root right there. Those are here for a repair from one of my bear guides. You can see the shipping label on it. Up under that 70 Evan Rude hood is my three cylinder twin carbed Mercury two stroke that I'm gonna set up for tiller. There's the 70 horse that I just got here very recently and I, I started it. It's got a fuel leak on the center carb. Needs a bit of work. Hiding right back in there. I got my two 19 and 84. One says Norseman, the other one says Super 40. They're commercial 40 motors, even though they are based on the big twin um, power head, two cylinder single carb. They have, instead of a butterfly choke, they have a manual fuel primer. And they also have the CDI um, ignition, no points. And um, I hope to do something with those one day. I have pictures of me, or uh, video of me up running this Norseman closest to me. I put electric start on that one. And here's some more of the bone pile. Little Honda that went swimming, so it's part. That little six or eight right there, Evan Rude runs. The 30 has a good power head, and it's short shaft. That's my old, uh, I think it was a 10 horse. Um, then just, there's that big 90 that I've got a picture of that hanging off of the, boom, the bucket of my little mini dozer running. Uh, neighbor right down the road told me come get it out of his yard. Don't know if I'll ever do anything with that other than parts. There's the actual bone pile. When I refer to the bone pile, see all that? That's all saved in parts. Two big old fishing totes full of them. 
of the bone pile. Yeah, that's a bunch. All right. Here's some more goodies. There's a 35 right up under there, a 55 commercial, my old Lark. Another 50 or 55 over there. Here's one that I'm considering to bring in and fix up. You see that Gale Buccaneer right there with the black and white hood? I'm considering bringing that one in for a winter project. I've got a parts motor right there beside it, which is an old 40. Uh, super quiet I think they called it and it it's got a thrown rod in it the con rod sticking out the side but that uh, that old Buccaneer 40 horsepower Gale Buccaneer or something like that it is I thought it'd make a nice one a good winter project I might some little Mercury's in here some 30s some 50s some 40s that 40 is actually nice and I have a lower unit for it um, it's a, it's really nice and clean under there. There's another 40, and another 40, and a 55, and I don't know what that is, Yamaha of some kind. That's what's left of a parted out Mercury right down there under that Evinrude bonnet. There's the 70, a 9.8. So this is bone pile big, I call it. Or also known as Kickerville. That's Kickerville. That's a miscellaneous bucket full of pull start recoil stuff. Um, this is my like scrap recoil pile. I have in my Connex a whole big shelf full of really nice ones that I keep. This is bad lower units, um, but there's still a lot of good propellers on them and stuff. And this spring I'll finish scrapping these out but uh, yeah and that's that tote over there you can see all the drive shafts sticking up those are all lower units yeah just miscellaneous pots more an extension of the old bone pile but I put these back here because they are known bad lower units all of them had something wrong with them. My good ones, I generally leave on the motors or put over in bone pile too. It's name Datum. Tomorrow, she'll probably want me back, but I'll still be just as gone. Tomorrow, she'll probably want me back, but I'll still be just as gone. Name that too. Sometimes when I sell outboards, I will include a tank with it. So here's a handful of them. I've got more in my Connex. Now, I don't think I've ever filmed under here for you guys before. I know the lighting's not good under here, but uh, down there you got a real old Johnson. Uh, I know it's from the early 50s, like a 52, 53. Um, down right below that one, if you look down there, there's another really old one. It's uh, just the lower, I mean the upper. And isn't that a beautiful Wilton Bullet baby vice right there? And then I've got some more over here. That's an old Evinrude 10 horse. Runs really well. I've had that on video on some of my older videos. And there's another old Sea King or something right there. It turns over. Um, and it, it is complete. You look down there you can see the lower unit there's some little johnson four horses six horses there's another one these are other ones 
That one right there, if you read it, that's the one that I ran on the Nova chips. There's the upper of a Mercury 7.5, I think it is. So these are just some of my other miscellaneous motors. Uh, this is dry heated storage here where I'm at right now. This is uh, the crawl space like under our house. It, but it's heated in here. And uh, so there's some more. And my stand just fell over, or I knocked it over. And not a pretty Johnson right there. And that right there. The pretty ones that I keep under here. Here's some old stuff. The little, uh, I forget what they call those things. Anyway, the one runs there. Uh, Neptunes. Some little Neptunes. And I don't know what that thing over there is. Just something I came across by a dumpster or something grabbed. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little tour, walk around of the bone pile and such. Um, just, it was such a nice day out. I needed to get a couple outboards out of the shop and get a couple more back in before the blow comes. Because you know it's coming. You'll understand us. Yeah, so we're going to get on this other Enduro and get that tiller all figured out what all I got to bust apart to get that all fixed up. And then I got this little Mariner that I got to get on. And it's got the old... shift in the throttle tiller. Never been real fond of that, but that's what I got. That's what I got. So, get on that. The guy that owns this motor, I gotta get that one taken care of, because he's the guy what brings me Dungeness crab, you understand? And I like me some Dungeness and artichoke crab dip. I do indeed. So I gotta take care of that motor. So, that right there is going to be a wrap on this one. That's for sure. One more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.